Hey guys, um, I don't know which video will upload first, my new Mario figure unboxing, or this one. But this video is going to be unboxing the Carnegie Micro Raptor. Now, story about this, I actually used to have this figure when I was a kid. But, but the tail, when I got it, it snapped off. And I'll show you exactly where it snapped off. And then, um, after a while, we glued it back on. We were very careful with it. And we eventually snapped in two different places. Never been seen again. Looks like the, the seller actually put it in an old tissue box. Am I complaining? No, I'm not. I'm trying to open it up now. If the tail snapped off on this, I'm going to be upset. That's why I'm being very careful with this. I'm trying really hard. You can probably see my my reflection at the moment. Ah, oh, I put it in a bunch of bubble wrap. That's very nice. Oh wow, it's a little smaller than I was when I remembered it. Anyway, very beautiful figure. Now we now that we know that the colors of a micro raptor are confirmed to be a, the colors of a crow, which is very neat. We know colors of dinosaurs, and they were probably not as flashy as you think. Oh, here I am holding this model again. Let's go over the inaccuracies of the model, and it's the tail snapped off right there, and it does not stand up. Well, mine doesn't, but we're going to get some shot glasses, and we'll stand it up that way. That's fine. I can make a stand for it. Quite easy. Um, this is the Carnegie Micro Raptor. This figure was released in 2005, the year I was born. And the coloring on this one is much nicer. And a bunch of black peach apricot colors, spots, a little bit of striping around the feathers and the wings. Now this figure, does, mine doesn't stand up, which is fine, because I can get a shot glass. I could probably put it right here. Yeah, I put, I put a shot glass there and it'll still be good. Um, the Microraptor should not have four fingers, four claws. It should only have three fingers and three claws. So I would say one of the fingers shouldn't be there. Now the it's a good figure. You can kind of see, see the teeth on it. Um, the rest of it, this is probably the dew claw. This is the sickle claw, the second toe. Here's the other toes. I don't remember if the one I had stood up or not. I don't remember. I'm just... Because the tail snapped off right here in the box. And what happened is, is the tail broke off right around this middle section and here. So we actually couldn't find the, the middle piece. That's what got us to having to, to throw it away. Yeah. So I'm glad I have this figure with me on my shelf again. Now, I'm not going to try to hot water, cold water it at all. I just, I'm happy I have this freaking figure on my shelf. I mean, if you wanted to, you can let it kind of fly around it's really nice it, he kind of looks like he's on his he's kind of looks like he's just sitting there and he's looking at like a, another animal like a rodent or an insect um fuck i don't have my ruler it's about that big it's rather big figure well for a microraptor it's big but to scale i would say maybe one ace but a I would not, no, fuck, not one eighth. I'm not like that. I don't, I can't tell you if something's to, uh, to a certain correct scale. Now, Safari so Limited, um, about 12 years later, they released another micro raptor in their Wild Safari range. And I think the Wild Safari one's better, in my opinion, because it's more accurate. It's about the same size as this. Um, if you could ever get this, get it, because it's a Carnegie. C Carnegie was the best line of dinosaurs ever.